good morning good morning to all and to all subscribers and so forthers of Kasikap Boys channels and also to all members of Kasikap Boys good morning our vlog this day is about reason why our evaporator coil distributor build up ice formation at evaporator coil first reason the clog and heavy dirt at evaporator coil and filter what we need to do is to clean first our air filter and apply chemical to our evaporator unit second reason are the clog system if we see system this is included our compressor thermostatic expansion valve condenser vessel shell and tubes and to our evaporator unit we need to clean these four major parts of our EHU or air handling unit centralized aircon third reason is malfunction thermostatic expansion valve and oil filter dryer what we do are we going to replace or either we clean these two parts of our air conditioning system the thermostat expansion valve and the oil fertile filter dryer fourth reason is possible leak at evaporator compressor and condenser shell and tubes what we need to do this is to to conduct leak testing at the system first thing to do and uh, remedy action this is only a uh, temporary uh, first we check actual operating current we need to check our operating current at line 1 line 2 line 3 if our rating is below 26 amperes or below 20 amperes we are now need to charging of refrigerant R22 at the compressor unit but remember this is only a temporary action as what I check the operating current from line 1 to line 3 uh, the operating current is 26 amperes 30 amperes and 29 amperes but remember this compressor unit is the actual operating current is up to 44 amperes that's why I need to charge freon a little bit up to 32 amperes or 34 amperes when charging Freon, we always remember that we charge Freon at low side or suction side of the compressor unit. If you observe, I charge this compressor or while charging, I charge this to liquid because it is okay to charge in liquid because this is a screw type of compressor even if it is in operation.
while charging refrigerant or Freon R22, we need to observe our operating current, the high, high side temperature, or uh, high side pressure at pressure gates, and also at the portion of evaporator coil where the ice build up for mission. As what we observe, uh, the ice formation is, is slowly melt because of we charge freon. But this is not means that our trouble or problem is solved. This is only temporary remedy action. And now our operating current at line 2 goes to 32 amperes from 27 amperes to 32 amperes. Also our pressure gates increase from 13 bar increase to 15 bar and finally we observe that the ice formation is already melt and gone and now we need to stop our charging of Freon because as what we have observed in our gates and operating current at clamp meter this is already a normal reading of our air handling unit or centralized aircon but this is only our temporary remedy action in order to operate or in operation our air unit while our store is open but we need to schedule this problem for our overnight works to conduct more troubleshooting in our air handling unit or centralized aircon again i would like to thanks to all our supporters to all our subscribers to all our friends to all the members of kasika boys thank you thank you hope you always follow us to watch our new upload videos at kasika boys youtube channel again Thank you, thank you, thank you.